Hello, what's going on everyone? Welcome to our newest video. Already on the last video, you saw how we got our newest puppy, Maggie. She's an Aussie Doodle. So on today's video, I'm gonna be talking about why we got an Aussie Doodle and my top five reasons for getting one. Let's roll. Reason number one, they are cute. They are great looking dogs. Uh, the Aussie Doodle is a mix of uh, the Poodle and Australian Shepherd. Australian Shepherd have a ton of variety as far as color. Uh, they come in blue myrtle, red myrtle, uh, brown, black and white, black, it doesn't matter. You name it, uh, they come in it and that translates to the Aussie Doodle. Also the Poodle as well as the Australian Shepherd come in three different sizes. They come in standard, miniature, and toy. Uh, so if you're a small dog person or a large dog person, you can find yourself an Aussie Doodle. That won't be any issue at all. easy to train. The Aussie Doodle loves to please. Both the Australian Shepherd and the Poodle are remarkably smart dogs and so is the Aussie Doodle by default. Right now we're working on Maggie's potty training. She's outside right now. When we're not home, she's inside, inside her cage. And when we come home, she goes out with Charlie and is out here in the backyard or inside with us. Inside we use a leash so that she cannot get away from us and get into things that she's not supposed to. And uh, when we're not home, like I said, she's on the cage where she doesn't like to pee because that's her personal space. If you do this for a while, I guarantee you they're gonna get the routine and they're only gonna pee outside. All right guys, it is cold outside and I have not eaten all day. So let's go inside and see what's for dinner. guys so today we're making creamy mushroom chicken breasts um, I had some leeks in the fridge so I added those to the recipe as well first off we are going to sear or saute our chicken breasts and salt and pepper them I also added olive oil to the pan you want to get a nice sear on the chicken breast then I cut the bottoms off the leeks that way the dirt goes out when you're washing them. A lot of times the dirt is in the middle of the leaves. And the chicken breasts are almost done. You can see, yeah, they're done. They have a nice sear. Leave the drippings in the pan. We're gonna saute the vegetables with the drippings in the pan. Add olive oil to the water to boil the pasta and salt. Wash the mushrooms and cut the leeks. Add them to the skillet with the drippings from the chicken. 
Then add the mushrooms. You're going to saute the vegetables for about 7 or 8 minutes. Then you can add the pasta to the boiling water once it boils. It takes 11 minutes for this pasta. The meal cooks really fast. You have to hurry. And here the, the vegetables are cooked down. You add butter. You can also salt and pepper at this point too if you like. Then you add the cup of cream, heavy whipping cream, to the dish. This is going to make a, a nice so uh, sauce. And then you cook for another three to four minutes. It'll cook down and become really thick. Here it looks like the pasta is almost done. Then you can add the pasta to the mushrooms and mushroom and leek uh, sauce. At this point, then you're gonna salt and pepper again and add Parmesan cheese. Lastly, add the chicken to the dish and it's ready to serve. It is a cold morning here in Louisville, Kentucky. Today I am taking uh, Miss Maggie and uh, Charlie to the vet. Charlie is getting his annual checkup, uh, so is his rabies shot, and Maggie is going in for her first appointment. And that brings me to reason number four, health and adaptability. Uh, Ossidurus are extremely, extremely healthy dogs. Other than a bruised thigh, uh, Charlie has not been sick or has given me any issues. Uh, in the almost four years that I've had them. For that I attribute it to the uh, raw food diet. It keeps his teeth clean and everything else working good. So yeah, they're healthy as well as adaptable. This is a dog that you can have in a farm uh, or in an apartment complex. As long as you're willing to put the training into it, um, you'll not be disappointed. They are going to adjust to your lifestyle. All right, let's get to the vet. <laughs> like that we're done at the vet they're both doing great maggie's coming back in four weeks to get her last puppy shot and then after that we can start socializing her with all the dogs <music> guys it is the end of yet another day i wanted to go to the dog park but unfortunately the weather has not allowed it it has been uh, either raining or snowing here in louisville 
and uh, so we're gonna have to just settle for the back porch the dogs just got done playing in the water and uh, yeah Maggie's not a big fan of it but Charlie really likes it all right and that brings us to reason number five which is friendliness the Aussie Doodle is extremely friendly not only to uh, other dogs but humans as well so if you're someone that has a family and has small kids they uh, they know when and when not to be rough so they're a great family dog I take Charlie to the park all the time and he meets random dogs that he's never seen before he plays with them he's super friendly never has an issue with aggression or any other unwanted behavior as far as uh, socializing with strangers go all that being said that only applies if you train them if you have a dog that has no training and is locked all day and doesn't get any exercise you're probably going to have a wreck it's going to be unstable and no matter what breed it is it's going to be it's going to be pretty hard but if you put the training into it i'd say the aussie doodle is just going to be everything you want and more already that is going to be all for today thank you for watching and tune in for the next video